Hi students, this animation and description would help you to learn physics even more easier and better. So please do watch it and enjoy learning physics. Electric field due to uniformly charged spherical shell. Case 1. At a point outside the shell, consider a charged shell of radius r. Let P be a point outside the shell at a distance r from the center O. Let us construct a Gaussian surface with r as radius. The electric field E is normal to the surface. The flux crossing the Gaussian sphere normally in an outward direction is phi is equal to integral S E vector dot ds vector is equal to integral S E ds is equal to E into 4 pi r square. Since angle between E and ds is 0, by Gauss law, E into 4 pi r squared is equal to Q by epsilon naught or E is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q by r squared. It can be seen from the equation that the electric field at a point outside the shell will be the same as if the total charge on the shell is concentrated at the center. Case 2 at a point on the surface. The electric field E for the points on the surface of charged spherical shell is since R is equal to R, E is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q by R square. Case 3 at a point inside the shell, consider a point P dash inside the shell at a distance R dash from the center of the shell. Let us construct a Gaussian surface with radius R dash. The total flux crossing the Gaussian sphere normally in an outward direction is phi is equal to integral S E vector dot ds vector is equal to integral s e ds is equal to e into 4 pi r dash square. Since there is no charge enclosed by the Gaussian surface, according to Gauss law, e into 4 pi r dash square is equal to q by epsilon naught is equal to 0. Therefore, e is equal to 0. That is, the field due to a uniformly charged thin shell is zero at all points inside the shell. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe this channel for more videos.